Alright, welcome back. This is still the Central Niger News Hangout and I am with someone, Pastor Bamshak, big one, Thank the you. convener of Teach Me To Love You. We're still discussing on the domestic violence side mm -hmm. and you were talking about your counsel for the singles. For the singles, yeah. yes. So right. let's hear more. Alright, so um, I want to also add to the other aspects of things I got, for, especially from this isolated case. Yeah. You know, while you're single or you've started dating, especially when you've started dating, you have to look out for what is called red flags. That's right. Red flags are signs that need not to be ignored. They are signs in a marriage or signs in a relationship that can tell you when something is wrong. A man who will raise his voice while you're dating is likely okay. going to raise his hand when you get married. Yeah. I want you to just know that. Uh, and these are things that you don't ignore. Red flags are not things that you ignore. Red flags are things that you look out for that can tell you the possibility of things occurring mm. in, a mar in a particular marriage. Mar uh, you know, you have to look out, uh, you know. And um, you say love is blind. It's no longer that concept any longer. Love is meant to help you open your eyes to see. Mm. And um, I think uh, there's a revered man of God that said, a person that will slap you in courtship is going to kill you in marriage. That's right. And marriage amplifies what your excesses are. Hmm. Can I say that again? Marriage if, amplifies your excesses. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if you are not self-controlled when you are single, hmm. it will amplify when you get married. If you are patient while you're single, chances are you'll be more patient with your wife, with your children. So it's very important that you are able to, while you are uh, dating as a single person, that's hmm. the best time to be able to take note of tendencies that that's can right. eventually skyrocket. And in this case, maybe she saw some red flags and she just felt she was going to be good. And that takes me to the next thing I want to say. Mm. Uh, please, singles, when you see red flags, don't ignore them. They could be telling you that you need to cut off. Some persons will say, I will pray for my husband when we get married. I'll pray for him to change. Mm. Fourth thing, you cannot change a man by prayer. When you are single, things that a man cannot change before you get married, he will not change when you get married. Most likely, he will not change when you get married. Wow, nice. It's not automatic. It's not automatic, sir. Talking about red flags and mm. looking out for signals yeah. while you are single, mm -hmm. something came to mind. When I was much younger, mm. I was discussing with my wife. I said, okay, as a teenager, you know, you want to enforce the laws of the house. My younger sisters, so where are you coming from? That's right. This, 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 this. It will usually result to a fight. That's right. Then one day, I believe it's the spirit that put it in my mind and said, look, if you don't stop fighting your younger sister, you are going to fight your wife. Ah, you just got it right I there. said, I said, what? He said, yes. That's the Holy Spirit talking to you right there. If you don't stop fighting or beating for whatsoever reason your younger sister, when you get married, you're going to you're take going it to... over there. I said, wow. So I use my younger sister's mouth to prepare Pray myself. Yourself. Oh, you just, you just brought out yes. the next thing I wanted yes. to see. Mm. Prepare your single season mm. is your preparation time for marriage. That's for, right. for marriage, for those of you who want to get married. Mm. That means that while you're single, that's the time for you to read books on marriage. Mm. It's time to go for seminars. Have mentorship. You know, that takes me to the next mentorship. one. Mentorship. Mentorship. Have somebody, if the person you are dating is not accountable to anybody, it's a, it's a red flag. Run. <laughs> Is a red flag. You have to have someone that you can, permit me to say, you can report your spouse to. You know, That's somebody right. that both of you respect and you're accountable to. In this case, I don't know if um, our sister had persons that both of them are accountable to. And by that, I mean people who can actually come into their lives. You know, uh, they mentioned the pastor where both of them worship. But you see, it's a mega church. Pastor is very busy. I'm talking about having a, another level of accountability where yes, someone yes. can come into your home and mm. take note of one or two things and be able to call, you know, I have one or two of persons like that who can come into my home and see one or two things and then call me and say, no, this that you did, this that you did. Accountability is very key. I think another thing the, in the name of no third party interference, oh, I think God. we have abused that statement. That's true. I was talking to my wife. I said, look, mm. isolation is dangerous. Very true. There are things you may be doing as a young couple. We are less than 10 years. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. I think we are on our ninth year now. That's true. We may be reinventing the wheel in the name of, oh, we don't want to interfere. Fair. You'll be doing something wrong. 
But at least there should be somebody, like you said, mm -hmm. who both of you can report yourselves to. True. And his or her word should be taken as law. That's true. Because if you don't have anybody to overlook, like you talked about being a big church, and mm -hmm. if you look at the account, mm -hmm. they were not aware. That's true. They were not aware. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, so I would say both of them, you know, they even sang the song together. Jesus. And I wrote something on my status. Uh, I said, <laughs> closeness does not equal to openness. That's right. That I'm close to you mm -hmm. and that we are together doesn't mean that the person is open to okay. me. Uh, we can be together for Just a long time. Just as we are together now. Yes, you, you, you may not know what's what happening. This morning. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that need. That's right. Uh, you know, when you have that mentoring, you can, you, 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 somebody you can open up. You can be open. You can just be open to. So while you're single, that's the time to practice. While you're dating, uh, that's the time to talk. Please permit me to also add. Dating time is the time to talk. When you get married, mm -hmm. Hmm. You will be talking about. Uh, uh, it's better you discover some things because while you are single, hmm. when you talk, you will bring out certain things. That's you will bring right. out certain things. You know, my wife always she, she told me she she did something while we were dating. Hmm. She will always carry me around children. You okay. know, children. I see your reaction. Children will reveal certain things. Hmm. <laughs> that is Ask hidden. questions. So she will carry me around children that are not mine to see how, how you know. And children just had this way of just glowing to me and she, to her. That was her litmus test. Mm -hmm. How they will warm up to me, how they will suck up to me, how I relate with them. That's true. And all that. Children know. can see through the charades. Any kind of fog. Mm -hmm. Because when a child is afraid of somebody, mm -hmm. my brother, don't force that child. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because their spirit is still very tender. Innocent. Their mm -hmm. innocence can, and they can pick, some things. pick signals that That's are not true. That's true. really held in. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I, I just thought I should add that there. So it's very important. Um, while, while they were, and permit me to say this, if you are dating and you're single, it's better to have a broken relationship. That's right. And a, a wedding that is ended, a wedding that never takes place, even if your brother cut down, to be in a violent, you know, uh, uh, um, death prone marriage. Hmm. You know, my sister, permit me to say this, my sister, one of them, they brought out the car two weeks to the time she confided in me. She okay. said, anytime she does, anything she brings up any initiative the guy yells at her he raises his voice even hits the table sometimes hits the hand and then when she confided in me listen she confided in me what did i do okay. she was scared she, she she didn't want my dad to say you brought all these people yeah. we have collected then, the dowry we have done this thing we fixed it and all that what will people say what will people say mm. but when she confided in me i told her i'm standing with her i was the one that went and i told my dad my dad now called her and said this is what your brother told yes. me is it true she cried, she cried and said yes. She said, my, she was surprised. Mm. My dad picked up his phone there and then, called the father and said, I need to see you mm. in Joss. He said, what's the issue? We are coming next week. He said, no, I need to see you now. Mm. He said, we're going to come, whatever it is we can resolve. I said, my, my daughter is no longer interested in the marriage. What? The same person that said he can't come, next flight though in Joss, mm. came prostrating. My sister said, I'm not doing it wow. again. And you know what? Eventually, the marriage didn't hold. We sent out invitations and all that. Let me tell you what. Eventually, that man went ahead to get married two years later. They are, I, I don't want to use the case as, mm. as, as a bad sign, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. they are not together. He ended up becoming the violent person that we saw. And my, my sister said, so a, a broken relationship, an ended mm. wedding, or a wedding that never takes place is better than enduring in a, in a, in a, in a death-prone uh, a marriage. Just to throw light on what you said now. Yeah. What will people say? Now, she took the risk. That's right. Confided in somebody who will help speak. And to her surprise, mm -hmm. the father took a position. Yes. That true. salvaged the true, situation. True, true, you, true. You never can tell when you open up. That thing you're afraid of may just be afraid of you. That's that right. thing that uh, is, you, you, you're just waiting for you to open up. Fear uh, of the unknown. The fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. Once you open up, you know, um, bad things have power in secrecy. That's right. But once you open up, the strength of that thing that is not right deflates. And you don't discover, ah, ah, this thing is not actually as bad as it is. But if you keep keeping it, light, most light. people who are manipulative and are violent, they are actually, they're actually getting their strength from the fact from that nobody is talking. Mm. You know? And uh, if you look at this case now, mm. because this case has come up in mm. the beginning, we talked about, it's going to bring about a revolution. True. But the prayer and the trust we have is that this revolution will be garnered to the right direction. That's right. So like, yeah. Since this incident now, people are owning up. There was That's a lady who canceled her traditional when? wedding. The guy was busy inviting people. <laughs> she has gone on social media. <laughs> yes, perhaps that is the only way oh she knows how to go, so about, go it. about it. But the truth is that if you look at red signs, 
They Big are not flags. things that will be auto. Red flags, mm. take it seriously. That's true. Take it seriously. And okay. something came to mind when you were talking about, uh, I can't remember exactly now. I was, I was talking with someone. Yes, closeness does not equal to openness. openness that's true. There's a senior colleague. He's a client. I do a lot of work to him, with him. Mm-hmm. He's a pastor. And one of these days, we finished talking. He said, he wants to call the guy. I said, hello, sir. I beg. This is your marriage counseling stop. Please, factors inside you. And he smiled. He said, yes, yes, yes. That we need a refresher course. Wow. Because he, he was, I think he was the one that got us wedded. Oh, my. And I said, please, factors, you know. He said, oh, yes, yes, yes. Ah, refresher, refresher course. course. Nine years down the line. So, mm-hmm. you do update, update. costs. True. You update your apps every yeah. how many days. True. When last did you update, update your relationship? When last did you update your marriage? Very true. Uh, I think before the next one, let's take a short break. We'll be right back. We'll pick it up on the next item. Don't forget, this is Central Nigerian News Hangout with Pastor Bamshak Big One, the convener of Teach Me to Love You. And for those still asking, I forgot. My name is still David Alpha. It has not changed. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs> 